Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Tessero Excalibur Spectrum RGB mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the kale brown switches. This keyboard is also available in the red and blue switch variants. These are the accessories that come in the box. You get a quick start guide as well as a guide to Tessero's other tech goodies. The keyboard comes with 1.55 meters or 5 feet of braided cable and USB 2.0 connector. On the bottom of the keyboard are thick rubber feet on four corners and small angled feet with rubber stoppers for those who prefer more height. This keyboard measures 450 millimeters or 17.7 .7 inches by 145 millimeters or 5.7 inches by 24 millimeters or 0.9 inch. And it weighs 1.22 kilograms or 2.7 pounds. The design of the board is simple and classic, no fuss or frills, a quality I'm sure some appreciate. This is a full size keyboard with QWERTY layout and a thousand hertz polling rate. Let's take a look at the function keys. Function plus F1 to F5 are the profile keys so you can insta switch to whichever profile you have set. There's 512 kilobytes of onboard memory for storing up to 200 macros or 2000 keystrokes across 5 profiles. Function plus F6 will give you the all keys lock feature. This will enable or disable the entire keyboard. And function plus F7 to F9 are the volume control keys. You also get other multimedia keys via function F10 through F12. Function plus pause is the quick game mode PC mode switch key. The on the fly macro feature is only accessible in game mode. In this section we have the function plus insert and delete keys which are the rollover key options. The 6 stands for 6KRO and the N stands for NKRO. And function plus home is the instant macro record key. After getting into game mode, press function plus home to start the macro recording. The game mode indicator will blink. Then press the key you wish to assign the macro to. Both the game mode and num lock indicators will blink. Type out the macro key command you wish to create. After you're done, press function plus home again to end the recording. At this point, the game mode, num lock, and caps lock indicators will blink for a few seconds. Can't forget the keyboard brightness adjust and lighting effects controls via the function and arrow keys. You get 4 brightness levels and off mode. There are also 8 lighting effects I'll go over in more detail in a bit. To the far right are the LED indicators for game mode, num lock, and caps lock. You can also enable or disable the windows lock function via the function plus windows key. I've removed some keycaps and as you can see this keyboard comes with a white metal backplate which really makes the colors pop. It also has a dual layer PCB for durability. The keyboard features kale brown switches. You get gold plated contacts with 60 million keystroke life. And the switches themselves have a bump feeling but this is definitely the silent type. For mech keyboards anyway, silent is really just not clicky. Here's a sound test for the switches. Single key and multi key. Let's take a look at the keyboard software. We'll start with PC mode. This mode will allow you to test the illumination settings and lighting effects. The illumination tab is where you can toggle the backlight color. You can select from the color palette or type out the RGB number for fine tuning. And there's also a color bar to mouse over. There's 16.8 million color options to choose from. Make sure to click apply after making changes and click exit in order to select a different tab like lighting effects. In this section are the eight lighting effects you can assign to this keyboard. Standard mode is just full backlighting. Trigger mode will light up only the keys you press and those keys dim shortly after. Ripple mode creates a ripple effect across the keyboard whenever you press a key. Firework mode is a new one to me. Each time you press a key, a burst of two colors will appear in a cluster of keys, and then the lighting effect will fade away. Depending on which backlight color you choose, the firework colors will also be different. Radiation mode has a funny ring to it. I suppose it has a look of a blast of energy. It starts off in a small group and then lances outward in a straight line. Boom. Breathing mode is just a classic. I've seen this effect on a lot of peripherals. Rainbow wave mode is always a pleasure to see. It's pretty. What more can I say? Spectrum colors mode is interesting as it has a mini menu inside of it. Shine is solid lighting. And it looks like you can also assign breathing and trigger to the keys. The pink keys on the keyboard image are keys that have been assigned a color in the spectrum colors mode. Left click on a key and an RGB window will open. You can assign a different color to each key if you wish or you can turn off the key lighting. Make sure you press apply after each change. There are five profiles you can assign macros and special key functions to. Right now we're on profile one. This is a fully programmable keyboard, which is always a plus. Mouse over whichever key you wish to assign a function to and certain tabs will become available. Here's a look at the macro setting tab. There's delay time and repeat options for those who are particular about key execution. Click the record button and type out the macro command you want. Then click the stop button. Check mark whichever and however many keystrokes from your created macro and move them up or down to fix an error or change things around. And you can check mark a keystroke, then insert single key from this menu or copy a keystroke, then click insert copied item. When you're done making the macro, click OK to head out, then click apply to assign the macro to the highlighted key. I've created several macros on profile one. 
you'll notice the white ring percentage will increase, indicating the amount of storage that's being used up. There's a profile reset button too. There's also the key assignment option. Just type out whichever key you wish to reassign the current key to, then press OK. Don't forget to click apply if you decide to make the change. You can also click the launch program tab and assign certain keys to open up programs you frequently use, like your favorite games or other applications. Sync program will automatically load a profile when you launch a specific program. Clicking the default tab will revert the key to its original function. The disable tab will shut down the key function. It doesn't seem like the backlight color can be changed if you're in spectrum colors or rainbow wave mode. I hope a future update will allow this option for both modes as is the case with the other lighting modes. And even if you have assigned a specific backlight color to a lighting effect, you can still use the function left and right arrow keys to change up the effect right from the keyboard. That concludes this software tutorial. That wraps it up for this look at the Tesro Excalibur Spectrum RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard featuring the Kale Brown switches. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. Well, I guess that wraps it up. Bye!